energy efficient uh, codes uh, and, uh, and the proliferation of energy efficient codes is, is really uh, in some ways the next big uh, fruit to be picked. Cities have led the way on many energy efficiency solutions and our partnership and collaboration with cities has always been a priority for this administration. You have helped scale up and spread the most cost effective energy efficiency measures. If we can be begin to really be strategic about bringing energy costs down, we can actually address um, the self-sufficiency question in our cities. We are making stunning, really stunning progress in terms of code adoption and enforcement, and we want to see this happening. And, and all of you who live in states, whether they're dark blue or the a medium blue, your folks are benefiting. Nobody's complaining about the energy efficiency in their homes and the energy, energy that they are saving from that. So our goals are to achieve a minimum 5% boost in the 2018 over the 2015. And that means let's, let's put the 2018 on a glide path of improvements. Let's defeat efficiency rollbacks and trade-offs. Let's increase I, uh, I CDP access voting participation by local and state governments. And let's urge local officials to link their policies because mayors have very po positive policies towards energy efficiency with the code offices that represent them. So over the last 20 years, building codes have provided regional and national energy and economic environmental benefits. And this has been an issue that's about 25 years uh, in the making, going all the way back to the Energy Policy Act 25 years ago, but also even, even further back. Uh, we know uh, that uh, one of the main reasons for people um, in, in foreclosure is actually erratic energy costs. Uh, we know uh, that, and there's a lot of data and research on that, um, after loss of income, for example, inability to pay energy bills is a leading reason for foreclosure. But we still have more work to do. Uh, as you know, later this year, municipal building officials will consider updates to the 2018 International Energy Conservation Code, known as the IECC. The Department of Energy has a goal to reduce building energy use 40% by 2030. Energy codes are an essential part of reaching that goal. So is it possible that the 2018 IECC that will be done this November by votes cast by your code officials can end up weaker than its predecessor? Yes. But you all also have building code officials that are your civil servants and I think report up and to you and they need to vote the right way on these codes so that we can get the most energy efficient codes possible out of the process and we can keep the opponents from rolling back the energy gains that we have made. It's just too important not to do.